Hello, beautiful light-filled souls. I'd like to remind you that the annual online near-death experience summit will be live on my YouTube channel on the 23rd, 24th, and 25th of July. So many amazing speakers with many of them have great YouTube channels themselves. So please check out that list and mark your calendar, subscribe to my channel if you haven't, so you'll be notified on that day in case you forget. Lots and lots of amazing topics to discuss. So there are also many pre-recorded videos that I'm working on with amazing speakers like Lisa Romano and many, many others. I want these videos to be a little bit more intimate and deeper in nature to talk about things that maybe I haven't talked about on my YouTube channel before. And I really want these videos to be catered to help you. So check out the offer below and I'd love to have you be a part of that community leading up to the summit and then all the recorded videos from the live days on my channel will also be put into that portal. But today I want to answer some questions that I often get asked since my book is titled Angels in the OR and I do angel readings which are a lot of fun and I love to tune in to that energy of the angels around people. I contact a variety of people who have knowledge of their angels and others who talk to them and wish to participate with them more. So here are some tips for working with your angels. One thing you can always do, and I may have said this before, but it's just a good reminder. Say you need energy healing in some way and you're going to see a therapist or you're getting a reading or you're getting, um, a massage even, or you're, you're getting something to help you in some way, even going to a traditional doctor, ask that angels, your angels, work through that person to help you. So that vibration I saw during my near-death experience could be sent through people who weren't even aware of it, surgeons who are working on my back, but they're focused on healing me in that moment. And so that's something that you can do you can ask for that participation of your angels to work with others of course when you are doing healing work or just doing your job or just walking out into the day and being who you are you can ask for that vibration of the angels to work through you to make someone's day better in some way or to remind someone that they're worthy of a great life. And this energy shift can help a lot. You can also remind someone of their creativity or just free up their spirit a little bit more to participate in greater creative thinking and higher order thinking. You can ask for your own downloads. Maybe you've heard a lot about downloads and thought, well, can this happen? When you're meditating, you can ask for your angels to give you an energetic download. There are so many people talking about how our energy affects so much about our physical health, our manifestation uh, abilities, and really just how we interact in the world. So ask the angels to participate with you in that way. You can ask them to participate in your life in small and large ways. You can ask them to, you know, a lot of us are online and some of you may be looking for jobs or maybe looking for something online. Ask that a certain light illuminates a something that you're looking for and shows you, okay, this is the right path or this is the right person to connect with for this opportunity or this feels right. Ask for illumination to guide you, you know, that kind of spark of, of excitement. And, and if you're looking for a breakthrough and you're getting impatient, then ask for downloads to give you peace, but also to show you when is the right time to make a move in a certain direction and to, to take steps in the direction where you want to go. If you are struggling with a health issue and you're attempting to change your diet or you're adding a supplement, you can always ask that angels work through medicine and supplements, whatever you are doing to improve your life, because really we're working with energy. And if you believe that this bottle of water is going to help you and you believe that it's blessed, and if you believe that angels are sending vibrations to this water to make it better for you, then you know there's a greater chance that this is what you will experience because you're working with energy and you're working with uh, 
bettering your own life. So how do we ask for blessings for others? This gets a little more complicated and I will go into this briefly, but we, we cannot manipulate the reality of other people. We can send blessings and we basically can send hope for them. We can send uh, love, unconditional love, and angels are great ways to send this. So if you know someone is hurting and struggling, they have their own free will, but you can certainly, in any opening that is available, you can say for the highest good, send angels to help wake this person up, to show them how to love themselves more and how to be on a path that is more healing for their lives. We can't make choices for people, but we can certainly send love in that way. So those are just a few tips of how to work with angels. I'm going to be talking with Chris Batts, who is one of the pre-recorded speakers at the summit, and I'll certainly get into this topic a whole lot more with him because he has an interesting way of working with his angels. And like I said, many of these people are people I've met at IONS conferences and other places and consider friends. So these conversations are going to be a little bit more intense in nature. And I can't wait for you to see and listen to these pre-recorded videos. So please check out the offers below. Thank you and may you be blessed.